Hello everyone, this is Rushi from Testing Biz. Today I am going to show you that how you can utilize some of the advanced level features of Testing Biz. We are going to cover some of the things like applying data driven approach in the mobile script, uh, doing some conditional handling with the conditional commands, handling the hybrid applications and all. So let me just quickly go through the mobile application setup to do the execution. We need to set up the three things like URL device name and the command timeout and the URL is basically the APM server URL. So once this is set up you are ready to execute on real device as well as on the simulator. I am running one simulator on my system and this is it. So once the simulator is up and running you can execute on the on it basically so this is the script i have prepared it for one sample application so that application is for booking a cabs so there i am doing some actions and doing some validations so for that i have used for validation specifically i have used a data driven concept so that you can apply with the help of the loop commands. So when you use a loop commands, uh, you need to create a data table from which you will get the data. So uh, here I have created one table which in which I have specified the objects and the text associated on that particular object. So that I am going to validate and simple description that what I am going to validate. So that I have covered and uh, referring that particular column when I click on an object column of any command here I have used check text command so in the column it will show all the columns of that command so I can select any one of that so here I am selecting the object so it will take the object from there and in the value column I am using a column called validation dot text so validations are is the table from which I am referring and text is the column so this is how you can apply a data driven in any of the command so same for uh, I have done it for some other validation so in the 15th step as well I am using the command loop start so there I am referring to another table called menu where I am validating all the text so here uh, there is a, a small digit change in the X path so that I have handled with the command um, uh, called perform set global variable so it's basically defining a counter so that counter is getting changed with the reference dollar counter and the counter value is coming from the table uh, sorry the the variable name counter so it will increase with the help of math add command so as soon as the iteration one completes it's go to uh, again uh, executing the same command but with increased value so that i have increased with the math add command so this is how it will iterate through all the records mentioned in the table and once all the records gets completed you can very well uh, the execution very well get uh, complete of that particular loop and try and execute the next steps so there are one more option in the loop command so if you wish to execute for say for example only few records you can use custom loop option and there you can select the start index and end index so it will execute for that particular records and complete the execution so this is how the you can apply the data driven approach in the mobile scripts and in case if you want to handle some of the conditional situation you can very well use the conditional commands like I have used one command over here like if compare so there you need to specify the two strings in case that string uh, pass 
then we need to do uh, action uh, specified under that condition else it will directly jump on to the next step of after if and if command so this is how we can do a conditional check on a particular condition and execute the script so in the second loop uh, starting from the 15th I'm validating all the sub menus of uh, the application and in the later stages of execution I am utilizing the advanced commands like for mobile like get context switch context this is going to be used for the Android hybrid application testing which is for getting the context of the application and switching to the web part so elements uh, to access the elements under the web view you have to switch to the web view context so I am switching with the command switch context and there I have specified the particular context and in the get context when you say get context you need to specify a table where it will load all the context of that particular application so this is how you can handle uh, the hybrid application so once you switch to that particular web view you can uh, use the web commands like check text um, click wait for time wait for element and specify the web objects in that and uh, then after uh, if you wish to come back to the native context you can use the same command like uh, mobile switch context and there you will specify native app context so it will come back to the native and you can access all the native components then after so let me just execute the script so you'll get a better idea that how it will get executed. So for execution I'll select the Android as a browser and it will load the application, it will check some elements are present or not. Here it will input the text. So here I am adding some tags it will tag, uh, tap on the delete cantonment so here I have added the validation you can see in the left hand side logs all the validations are getting done and once that is completed I am validating all these menu items and then I am clicking tapping on the support so this is opening up a web view so here I am switching to the web view and validating some text and accessing some web elements for input text. So this is the simple action and validation happening on the native, app native application. So this is kind of a hybrid application so here we are accessing the web view elements as well. So. This is all about the handling some advanced aspect of uh, uh, a native application or a hybrid application test with testing quiz. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.